This is part two of my Facebook Marketplace haul where I'll show historical outfits and pieces. I have Rebecca's Be Forever um, underdress skirt shirt thing from 2009. Uh, I really like the details of the skirt. Um, it's like herringbone, I think it's called. Next is Rebecca's movie dress from 2009 also. This was on my list for so long. I feel like it's just such an elegant dress. I didn't realize there's like a tube skirt underneath that's pretty tight around the doll's legs. You can also see that the hat is not in perfect condition. Um, I still really like it. I'm glad that I got this outfit even though it has be like nail polish on the front and like these scratches on the back. I'll be the first to say that Marie Grace is not my favorite doll. However, her party outfit is very intriguing to me. It just like gives off Halloween vibes, <laughs> um, royalty, I don't know. Obviously somebody had tried to wash it at one point, it got kind of bleached, but to be completely honest, I don't really care. I think it still looks really cool and it's never something that I would have bought for my collection in the first place. I think everybody can agree that Cecile Ray is top tier best friend doll, so iconic. Her special dress from 2011, so beautiful, it's so elegant. I've said that word so many times. <laughs> this is just such a perfect holiday dress. So speaking of iconic dolls, hello, Samantha. This is from her lacy pinafore dress, AKA her birthday outfit. I only have the pinafore apron thing. You know, obviously it would look better with a good steaming. And then I also have the socks that go with the outfit. This is Samantha's tea dress. I didn't expect it to lay on her like this. Like the waist is so low and then it kind of makes like the pleats on her torso look kind of weird. Also has this stain that I tried to get out. Um, obviously it didn't come out, but it hides in the folds of the skirt, so it's fine. And then we have Samantha's meat outfit, classic. I actually already have this entire meat outfit for my grandma. Um, but these are her bloomers. It's hard to know who these belong to, either Samantha or Molly, since both of them have like the black patent shoes, but I was finally able to find the missing shoe to my collection. I, as a child, I lost one pair and now I have another. They have a different finish on the bottom, but who cares? So similar to the shoes, I got Molly's meat skirt in an old haul like over a year ago when I got my doll Julie and now I finally have her sweater. I actually already have Molly's skating outfit from 2006, uh, but now I have another pair of the red bloomers that go underneath. Not sure if I'll keep them though. This is Emily's tap costume from 2006. Um, it only comes with the hat and the cape. Another funny story, I guess my collection got mixed up with my cousins or friends and I had one of these tap shoes, even though I never had the outfit as a kid. And now I have the second one and the outfit. This haul is just filled with wild stories about completing my collection with this other Facebook woman's collection. So randomly at a thrift store near my house, I found Emily's swim skirt, which has been on my list for so long. And then the woman was selling only the top. This whole haul is so serendipitous. Now I have Emily's pajamas for dolls from 2006. This pair of pajamas reminds me a lot of a pair that my grandma made for me when I was a kid. It just feels so soft. It's so well made. I love that the buttons are real too. And you know, the cute little collar. Next is Emily's meat shoes. You can't go wrong with another pair of black shoes, okay? Um, the Facebook woman only had one of them. I bought the other one off of the Facebook group of like lost shoes. So they have different uh, finishes on the bottom. 
next is Kit's meat outfit from 2000. I have the skirt, which is cute. Um, my childhood best friend had Kit, so it always reminds me of her. And I have Kit's hat. Then Kit's overall outfit from 2001. I only have the shirt. I had a lot of stains when I got it, but they kind of all went away when I did some you know, spot treatment. And to be fair, it would kind of go with the vibe. I'm trying to buy the overalls, but nobody seems to be selling just them. Now Kit's beautiful school outfit from 2000, which has now, you know, resurrected. I only have her right shoe, but I just bought the left on Mercari. And then last but not least, Kit's Christmas outfit shoes. Like I said, can't go wrong with a pair of black shoes. These next two pieces feel so niche. It's from Kirsten's Shoes and Socks. These are the stockings. It's like a like a real like knit uh, yarn, fabric, whatever. And then the next pair are just like striped socks. It's like brown, tannish. Now I have some of Josefina's things. This is her school outfit or known as like the indigo skirt and camisa from 1997. And then her meat outfit and accessories from 1997. I have the rebozo, um, which is like the old pattern versus like the new pattern that has the diamonds. And then the leather pouch, which I could not open for the life of me. Her handkerchief and then her hola coin. I hope I say that right. And then also her little booklet. Wait, oh my God, how could I forget her shoes from her meat outfit that are absolutely falling apart. What even happened to these, okay? The strings are not even strings anymore. The fabric of the shoes are like uh, stained. They live in this bag, okay? Because look what happened with just me showing you. This is what my floor looked like afterwards. And now I have Kaya's meat accessories from 2002. I always thought Kaya was so cool when I was a kid. I loved looking at her stuff in the catalogs. I have her woven bag, it's still in the packaging her belt pouch and then the porcupine quill necklace beautiful and I know these aren't Kaya's but I swear they're Kaya's does anyone know where these shoes are from they're nicely made they have like this textured bottom that would go with Kaya's things now for Nellie's accessories from 2004. I have her little purse. You can see that the top lining is a little bit yellowing. I have her coin, her Irish penny of George IV, her silver Celtic cross, and then her handkerchief also kind of yellowing. I'll say it, Felicity is like probably my least favorite doll. Um, this is her white shift. The original was all elastic on the neckline, but this one isn't anymore. And then with her old meat outfit uh, from 1991, uh, these are her shoes. This is the exception to my black shoe love. Okay, they're pilgrim shoes. I don't like them. Big difference from Elizabeth's meat outfit from 2005. Yes, these shoes live in a bag. They live in plastic bag jail okay the left meat shoe totally fine beautiful the right shoe like was with a cheese grater or something decrepit horrible sad back to the bag recap favorite outfits rebecca's movie dress cecile ray's special dress gorgeous love it I loved finishing Emily's swim two-piece set. Again, so serendipitous. Love Emily's pajamas. Definitely gonna have my dolls wear this all the time for their sleepovers. And last but not least, 
Kit's right shoe. It's about to be reunited soon with the left. Okay, y'all, so this was part two of my three-part Facebook Marketplace haul. The third video is coming out next week with the shoes and accessories that didn't fall into the you know, other categories. I have big plans for more videos on this channel at Liz and Betty and also my Instagram at Liz and Betty. Thanks.